Hello kindergartners, happy Earth Day. In celebration of Earth Day, as promised, I have two Earth Day books for you. We're gonna start tonight with the Little Critter book called It's Earth Day. Little Critter was one of my favorite characters to read when I was your age, so I hope you enjoy this book and I hope you pick up some tips and tricks of how to make our Earth a better place. It's Earth Day. Today we learned all about Earth Day. It is a special day. It is when we celebrate our planet. We watched a movie about the Earth's climate. Climate is how hot or cold it usually is outside. The Earth is getting hotter and the ice at the North Pole is melting. That's where the polar bears live. Yikes, I have to help slow down the melting. Dad, I asked, what can we do to stop the ice from melting? Hmm, let's find out he said. It turns out that the energy we use doing everyday things like driving cars and watching TV, it's making the earth warmer. They did some research there on their computer. That's a great way to find the answers to your questions. We have to save energy, I said. I turned off the computer and all the lights as fast as I could to save energy. Be careful, Dad, I said. Poor dad tripped in the dark. Maybe only turn the lights off when you're not actually needing to use them. The next morning when little sister was brushing her teeth, I turned the faucet off. Saving water helps the polar bears, I said. Yeah, we don't need the water running the whole time, do we? I didn't want to take the school bus the next morning, but mom said the bus actually saves energy because all the moms and dads don't have to drive their cars. Good thinking, mom. They are gonna save gas that way. After school, my friends and I collected cans, bottles, and newspapers, and then took them to the recycling center. We put the money we earned in a big jar to give to a Critterville charity we call We Love Polar Bears. And they really do give you money if you take your recycling in. I used to do that when I was a little kid. We would collect our cans and I would take them into a recycling center and the money that we got, we would put towards buying new fish and frogs for our fish tank. But I really like that they're gonna donate their money to help the earth. The next day was Earth Day. Our whole class went to the park to plant trees. Trees are good for the earth. They help suck up bad stuff in the air. It was hard work. Come on guys, I said. Do it for the earth and for the polar bears. Our teacher thought I should dig smaller holes. He's pretty enthusiastic there. We made signs that said, reduce, reuse, recycle. Then we put the signs up everywhere to remind everyone that they can help too. That night I couldn't sleep, so I went to the kitchen for a snack. Then I saw a little sign that said, Climate control. Oh, that's it, I yelled. I know how to save the polar bears. I have to change the climate. The next morning, I got right to work. I made a list just like mom would do. Next, I drew up the plans just like dad. Little sister helped collect everything on the list. The most important thing was ice. We needed lots of ice. I put all the parts together. What is it? Mom asked. It's a climate control machine, I answered. It will cool down the earth and save the polar bears. How does it work? Asked Mom. Well, I said, the fan blows air over the ice and makes the earth's air cooler and keeps the ice at the North Pole from melting. And that will save the polar bears. Hmm, do you think it'll work? Make a prediction right now. Okay. I put the thermometer on top. I waited for the climate control machine to start working, but my ice kept melting. So I had to borrow ice from everyone in my neighborhood. I worked very hard all day long, but the temperature stayed the same. Finally, after it became dark, it got cooler. Hooray! Now let's think about that. It got dark outside and it got cooler. Do you think it was because of his machine? 
Or do you think it might have been because of something else? Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, what's that? You said something about the sun? Oh, you clever children. But the next morning, the temperature went back up. Oh, I think you're on to something. The climate control machine doesn't work, I said. It will never save the polar bears. That's not true, said Dad. Because of what we learned, I turned off my computer at night. Little sister turns off the water when she brushes her teeth, and we all turn off the lights when we leave the room. Then Dad added, you and your friends collected bottles, cans, and newspapers to recycle. You also planted trees for fresh, clean air. That makes me think. Wow, I said. We are all climate control machines because everything we do can help save the earth. And don't forget the polar bears. Oh, that's awesome. They did so many things and he didn't think he was helping, but really all those little things we can do, they add up and they can be very helpful for our planet. That was an awesome Earth Day book giving us some tips and tricks there. Our other book is a little bit sillier. It's about this monkey and it's called Earth Day Birthday. There's a little bit of confusion going on in this book and see if you can catch on to who's confused and what they're confused about. Earth Day Birthday. Oh, there's a calendar with April 22nd circled. That's when Earth Day always is. Deep within the jungle green, the biggest lion ever seen stood before his friends and said, Happy Earth Day! Deep within the jungle green, the silliest monkey ever seen swung upon a branch and said, It's not Earth Day, it's my birthday! Hmm. The elephant shook her wrinkled head and stomped her foot like a bag of lead. She turned to Monkey and loudly said, It's Earth Day, not your birthday. Let's plant a row of tiny trees. Plow a garden for beans and peas. Grab a shovel, get a hoe. Hurry up, it's time to go. That's a great way to help planting things. Deep within the jungle green, the silliest monkey ever seen twirled his tail and proudly said, it's not Earth Day, it's my birthday. The lumpy, bumpy crocodile watched the monkey for a while. He answered with a toothy smile, It's Earth Day, not your birthday. It says, make the world a prettier place. Let's pick up papers off the ground. There's lots of litter, look around. Collect the garbage that you see, stick it in a bag for me. It's a great way to help the earth too, cleaning up garbage. Deep within the jungle green, the silliest monkey ever seen, ate a banana and proudly said, it's not Earth Day, it's my birthday. The tall giraffe complained, oh dear, I see we have a problem here. Let me make this very clear, it's Earth Day, not your birthday. Reuse and recycle. They are confused, aren't they? Which one is it? Is it his birthday or is it Earth Day? We'll do our part to clean the land. Recycle bottles, glasses, cans. Come on, my friends, I'll lead the way. Let's recycle every day. Deep within the jungle green, the silliest monkey ever seen rubbed his belly and proudly said, it's not Earth Day, it's my birthday. Hippo opened his mouth up wide on the muddy riverside. He turned to Monkey and loudly cried, It's Earth Day, not your birthday. <laughs> Let's take our cloth bags to the store, buy three pineapples, maybe four. We'll use our cloth bags every time to shop for coconuts and limes. I use those reusable bags. I love using those when I go grocery shopping because they don't have to throw all the plastic bags away. I can just keep reusing my fun cutesy bags. Deep within the jungle green, the silliest monkey ever seen shimmied up a tree and said, 
It's not Earth Day. It's my birthday. Snake slithered through the leaves up high as the monkey scampered by. She raised her head and said, Oh my, it's Earth Day, not your birthday. Let's go start a compost bin, toss our rotten garbage in. Watch me and I'll show you how. We'll get started on it now. So that's like scraps from meals that you make or food that's left over. You can turn it into a compost bin. Or instead of going to a landfill, it can seep into the dirt and make the dirt really nutrient rich to be used again. Deep within the jungle green, the silliest monkey ever seen jumped around and proudly said, it's not Earth Day, it's my birthday. He whispered in the lion's ear, don't you know my birthday's here? Do you think they're gonna believe him? Poor monkey. Lion roared back, give me a break. I've heard all that I can take. No matter what we do or say, you think it is your special day. But it is, said monkey. Can't you see? Here's my mom with a cake for me. The lion gasped. <gasps> I made a mistake. Please share your yummy birthday cake. Is it Earth Day? Yes. Is it monkey's birthday? Yes. Can two things happen in one day? Oh, of course it can. It was just one big misunderstanding. Of course, said monkey with a shout. But first, I'll blow these candles out. Then all the animals yelled, hooray, it's monkey's birthday and it's Earth Day. Oh, I'm glad they finally figured it out, aren't you? I hope you've done something to enjoy the Earth today and maybe even make it a little bit better. Um, and I also hope that you enjoyed these books about Earth Day. I'll see you next time.